Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Entitled Punk proves his hate for America in front of Trump at wreath ceremony, instantly regrets it. Memorial Day engenders strong emotions in most Americans. As President Trump laid the wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier, President Donald Trump paid a Memorial Day tribute at Arlington National Cemetery on Monday, saying he came to sacred soil to honor the lives and deeds of America's greatest heroes. It was a moving tribute and very solemn. The service was observed by everyone there except for one kid a few rows back with a baseball cap on. He disrespected his country, his president and our warriors by not removing his hat during the national anthem or taps. Just disgraceful. What's more is everyone around him removed their hats and put them over their heart near their left shoulder as is proper protocol. But not this elitist punk. He was either absolutely oblivious to everyone around him and the right thing to do, or more likely, didn't care and has disrespect for all involved. I'm surprised that some veteran didn't yank the hat off his head during the tribute. President Trump started off the day by tweeting, Happy Memorial Day. Those who died for our great country would be very happy and proud at how well our country is doing today. Best economy in decades, lowest unemployment numbers for blacks and Hispanics ever, and women in 18 years, rebuilding our military and so much more. Nice. But as he prepared for laying the wreath, things turned much more somber and reflective. Trump was iconic in his observance and respect of the fallen. There is a moving video of the wreath-laying ceremony. You have to watch the video and pay close attention to see the guy not remove his cap. But once you see it, you can unsee it. It made my blood boil. Meanwhile, the commander-in-chief, speaking before an audience of cabinet members, military leaders, veterans and families assembled in the marble amphitheater near the tomb of the unknown soldier, said, we mourn alongside their families and we strive to be worthy of their sacrifice. President Trump pledged to Gold Star families on Monday to never forget our heroes, saluting those who made the ultimate sacrifice on this Memorial Day. We gather to honor the lives of America's greatest heroes, Trump said. We are joined today by the families of American heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice. We cannot imagine the depth of emotion that this day brings each year, the grief renewed, the memories relived those last beautiful moments together cherished and always remembered. You also feel that incredible pride, a pride shared by one really and truly grateful nation. It's our heroes who make us who we are and who determine what we will be. Our fallen heroes have not only written our history, they've shaped our destiny," Trump said. The president pointed to each marker on the gravestones at Arlington National Cemetery, saying they teach us what it means to be loyal and faithful and proud and brave and righteous and true. That is why we come to this most sacred place. That is why we guard these grounds with absolute devotion," Trump said. That is why we always will remember because here on this soil, on these grounds, beneath those fields, lie the true source of American greatness, of American glory and of American freedom. He added that as long as we are blessed with patriots such as these, we shall forever remain one people, one family and one nation under God. We will never forget our heroes, the president said, adding that today. We pay tribute to their service and strive to be worthy of their sacrifice. The Dairy News reported on the occasion as well. During his second Memorial Day trip to Arlington as president, Trump laid a wreath at the tomb before making his remarks. He recognized military figures, including Bob Dole, the former senator and 1996 Republican presidential nominee, who served in World War II. And he spoke warmly about a number of military families in attendance, including a young boy named Christian Jacobs whose father is buried at Arlington. Trump said the boy showed him his father's grave last year, calling it a moment I will always remember. Before heading to the hallowed grounds across the Potomac River from the nation's capital, Trump tweeted that those who died for our great country would be very happy and proud at how well our country is doing today. First Lady Melania Trump and Ivanka both sent Memorial Day messages that spoke of remembrance and thanks. Perhaps that young man should have paid more attention to these strong women or somebody should have taught him respect. As we remember our fallen servicemen and women, our hearts are filled with gratitude for their sacrifice and awe of their courage," Ivanka Trump tweeted. At Arlington, Trump said the heroes who died for America rest in these hallowed fields, in cemeteries, battlefields and burial grounds near and far, and are drawn from the full tapestry of American life. The president said they came from every generation, from towering cities and windswept prairies, from privilege and from poverty. They were generals and privates captains and corporals of every race, color and of every creed, but they were all brothers and sisters in arms. And they were all united then, as they are united now, forever, by their undying love of our great country. General Joseph Dunford, 
who is the current chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, honored the more than a million Americans he said gave their last full measure so we could live in freedom and raise our children in peace. So very true. He also honored the families they left behind and for whom every day is Memorial Day. Those who fought and died for America, he said, shared a commitment to something greater than themselves and they were people who understand what we have in this country is worth fighting for. Trump was joined by his chief of staff, John Kelly, whose son, Marine Second Lieutenant Robert M. Kelly, was killed in November 2010 after he stepped on a landmine while on patrol in southern Afghanistan. He is buried at Arlington. Is it too much to ask that some jerk in a baseball cap remove it to honor the fallen and those still fighting for us so we can be free? No, it's not in shame on him. I bet he instantly regretted what he did afterwards. Good. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.